dear students here in this video we are for an item to excite for example it, it uh, this one is this ground state and this one is the excited state for an atom to radiate it, it must first it must be in the excited state so when it is in excited state it will de-excite uh, to its ground state by emitting the radiation uh, a photon of frequency h mu so it is it uh, then the probability of uh, the or the condition for the excitation to occur from excited state to the ground state is that uh, this condition is the integral psi n psi m to ds minus infinity to infinity so this is the integral if the condition is that here the psi n is the wave function um, uh, initial wave function and psi m is the wave function in the final state um, or excited state and so here uh, this integral for the atom to an excite uh, uh, in the excited state it will radiate only if this integral is not equals to zero so this is the necessary condition for the atom to radiate that this integral must not be equals to zero since the intensity of radiation is proportional to this integral the transition for which the integral is finite that is mm, uh, it has a fi some finite value it's not equal to zero then such a transitions are called as allowed transition allowed transition uh, for which integral for which this integral have finite value that it is not equals to zero then such a transition are called as allowed transition and uh, however for which it is zero if this integral is zero if this integral is equal to is equal to zero then such a transition are called as forbidden transition such a transition are not possible for so the necessary condition for the transition to occur for the atom to radiate from an excited state to ground state it is necessary that it fulfills this condition that this integral must not be equals to zero then it will be the allowed transition now we will consider the case of hydrogen atom so here we will consider case of hydrogen atom and in hydrogen atom uh, we uh, know that uh, we, first we need to specify its initial and final state um, which are involved in the radiative transitions and so for this we need a quantum number n l m m l n is the principal quantum number l is the uh, orbital quantum number m l is the magnetic quantum number so these are the for example these are the uh, coordinate uh, uh, quantum number of final state uh, final state here the final state is the ground state because atom radiate when it uh, uh, goes from excited state to the ground state here these are the coordinate of final state and for example n prime l prime and ml prime these are the quantum number of initial state so these are the initial states and similarly we can associate a coordinate u so the coordinates of uh, are the u can be represented by the parameter u or uh, which is a function of x y and z 
so the allowed transition for the hydrogen atom it can be uh, the in its integral will be equals to this one minus infinity to infinity x psi and l ml and then for the final uh, for the initial state it will be psi uh, we can write it steric and n uh, l prime and then ml prime d v it must not be equals to zero so here the u is the parameter uh, uh, coordinate which is the function of x y and z so integral is now covered the, all over the space uh, however when we you uh, we take the u uh, as uh, as only x y or z then we uh, can get uh, the um, can produce the dipole antenna for example link on the x-axis that is the red we can get the radiation produced by dipole antenna which is along x-axis okay and since the wave function for hydrogen atoms psi n ml is the known and so is the known wave function and it can be evaluated for u is equals to x uh, is equals to y or it can be equals to z we can evaluate it for different value uh, for all parameters u is equals to z uh, so uh, for all pair of states differing only one or more quantum numbers after evaluating the wave function for all pair of states for u is equals to x u is equals to y and u is equals to z uh, now for all the states um, it was uh, observed that it was found that the only transition between the states of different n and can occur uh, in for which the orbital quantum number L may differ as we have the three quantum number and L, M, L. So for those transition occur in the hydrogen atom uh, for the different value of N for which L differ either by plus one or by minus one. And the magnetic quantum number either it does not change or it will change by plus one or it will by change by minus one so uh, the condition we can say that for the allowed transitions are which are called also called as uh, selection rules selection rules and so these according to these selection rules the transitions are possible for which delta l is plus minus one and delta ml magnetic quantum difference in the magnetic quantum number between the states is either there will be the no difference or it should be plus minus one so these are the selection rule so the change in total quantum number n is not restricted here that is n is not restricted so the restriction is imposed on the value of magnet orbital quantum number and magnetic quantum number so this uh, value of uh, the difference between the uh, the two states uh, magnetic orbital quantum number should be plus minus one and delta ml should be zero zero or plus minus one that is we uh, as we know that l specify the different subshell for l is equals to zero we has s for l is equals to one we have the p orbital for two d for three f and so on so uh, when l is delta l is plus minus one so it means that uh, the transition from s to p is the possible transition from p to d which is the possible transition it is the allowed transition from d to f it is also allowed tr allowed transition but um, and also from s to p p to s d to p and 
uh, F to D. These are the allowed transition. But uh, from S to D, this is not allowed transition. From P to F, this one is also not allowed transition. In the same way, from F to P is not allowed. From D to S, also not allowed. So only the, those transitions are allowed transition for which delta L is plus minus 1 and delta L, that is the difference in magnetic quantum number is 0 plus minus 1. So here we also can draw the different allowed transition for the hydrogen atom. So here the, uh, the energy level diagram for hydrogen atom. Uh, here this is the energy 0 5 energy scales we can write the 10 and then up to 13.6 electron volt so here uh, for n is equals to 1 mm, uh, so n is equals to 1 we have only one state and then we comes to n is equals to 2 uh, here we have 2s and 2p states for n is equals to 3, there are the 3s, 3p, and 3d states. And in the same way, for n is equals to 4, s, p, d, and f states. Uh, so, up to so on, so uh, we can have the different states s, p, d, f, g, and so here. This is the energy level ground diagram up to so on n is equals to infinity. Uh, we have the different S, P, D, and F energy levels. So here the S state which is cross bench to L is equals to 0, P states which is cross cross bench to L is equals to 1, D state cross bench to L is equals to 2, and L is equal to 3. There is the F state. Okay, now the transition for allowed transition in S state, one S state, n is equals to one cross pin to one S state. Uh, in one S state, the transitions are possible from L is equals to one to L is equals to zero, L is equals to uh, for n is equals to three, L is equals to one to L is equals to zero. Now, for n is, from n is equal to 4, again from l is equal to 1 to 0, all these are from l to s. For any value of n from l to s, these are the allowed transition for 1s orbitals. Now, if it comes to the, uh, for example, we come to here, the 2p orbitals. Now, what type of, which transitions are the possible for the p? Uh, for P, uh, the transition, possible transitions uh, are from L is equals to 2 to L is equals to 1 is the possible transition because it obey the rule delta L is equals to plus minus 1. So these are the possible transition from uh, here from D to P. Okay, in the same way from S to P are also the possible transition for different value of n. So these are also the loud transition. Now we uh, come to the d orbitals. These are the three d orbitals. Now what type of transitions are possible for uh, this one? So here the allowed transition for the three orbitals are from L is equals to 3 which corresponds to f. Here we can write the s P, D, and F from F here from 4F to 3D from uh, 5F to 3D from 6F to 3D and so on and in the same way from P uh, from 4P to 3D uh, from 5P to 3D from 6P to 3D for all for all these transition delta L is plus minus 1 and delta ML is 0 plus minus 1. So for all those transition for the difference in orbital angular um, orbital quantum number is plus minus 1 and magnetic quantum number is this one. These are the loud transitions. So in this way we can 
draw uh, the lines for all uh, allowed transition which corresponds to the different frequencies and different uh, wavelength different wavelength and so we can represent the spectrum for this spectrum of an atom for these allowed transitions thanks for watching for more videos please subscribe our channel